Well, hi everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. A uh, slightly uh, stormy night out there. Not really too bad out there. Not severe weather. Not the tornado like we had uh, back on early Monday morning uh, in just southeast of Grand, south and east of Grand Island. Uh, but we have had some rain and thunderstorms still ongoing this morning. In fact, forecast models have really struggled with that activity, but we have had some rain and thunderstorms right in here this morning. Nothing severe, though. Thank goodness. But uh, I think that will continue to diminish this morning. We'll see partly to mostly sunny skies. Not as windy today, but still could be a little bit breezy, especially in eastern Nebraska. And then later today, showers and thunderstorms could fire up. And we'll see more of those into this evening. An area we're really going to watch close is up here to the north this evening and overnight. Could be some intense, severe thunderstorms and more up here to the north. A couple of things I want to point out as well here. A little outflow boundary right in there. And then another one that might produce some an outflow boundary here from the storms farther north up in South Dakota and North Dakota might produce an outflow boundary. And outflow boundaries act as weak cold fronts. And those some can sometimes produce new thunderstorms that develop here. And so that's what we could see in here. So even late night, watch this, watch this outflow boundary push across Nebraska late tonight. You can see it right there by tomorrow morning. And so new thunderstorms may try to fire up tomorrow morning in our area. So this will be interesting to watch. And then, you know, we may still see some rain and thunderstorms around tomorrow during the day. And then more intense activity could fire up tomorrow evening and overnight tomorrow night. This time maybe a little bit better chance farther to the south. Southern Nebraska, northern Kansas. In pockets of heavy rainfall, maybe some localized flooding, not out of the question. Some of this might continue into th early Thursday morning. And in fact, Thursday, still a chance of rain during the day and even into Thursday night, more some rain and maybe some thunderstorm activity as well. So here's our severe weather threats the next couple of days. This will be updated here at 8 o'clock or close to 8 o'clock from the Storm Prediction Center. But as of right now, most of us are included in some sort of severe weather other than northern Kansas here. Marginal risk right in here. Chances a little higher in the slight risk area near and north of Interstate 80. And then the highest threat up here in the uh, northeast part of the state where there is an enhanced risk of severe storms. Damage and wind gusts possibly significant. Looks to be the biggest threat, but maybe some large hail. Very, very low end threat of an isolated tornado. As for tomorrow, more so tomorrow night, pretty much all of us included in a marginal risk of severe storms for large hail and damaging wind gusts. And once again on Thursday to Thursday night, most of us in a marginal risk of severe storms, same kind of threats. Well, highs for today, it's going to be another toasty one out there as temperatures will top out in the 90s to near 100 degrees and maybe some triple digits off to the southwest, maybe as high as 104 or so in southwest parts of the area. There is another day, oh, we're seeing another day where we do have a heat advisory in place. Uh, this will go until 8 o'clock this evening for the majority of us here. Once again, heat index values could get as high as 105. Even those areas that see highs in the 90s today with the humidity that we'll have, the heat index could be quite hot, much hotter than that. I will point out that our northern Kansas counties are actually included uh, in this heat advisory again for tomorrow. See it right there until 9 p.m. Wednesday as some temperatures tomorrow could be well into the 90s once again with heat index values close to 105 in some spots again tomorrow. But most of us will not be included in that because we're going to cool things back tomorrow. So again, back to the highs for today. You see it, 90s and some triple digits out there tonight. A mild night in the mid to upper 60s and low to mid 70s. Tomorrow's highs, cooler, not nearly as hot, mid 80s north to mid 90s south. And again, you can see a little more heat in northern Kansas. So that's where we have that heat advisory in place for another day as heat index values could get over 100 degrees here tomorrow. Tomorrow night, back down into the uh, mid to upper 60s and lower 70s. And a pretty decent day temperature wise on Thursday. A lot of 80s around, low and mid 80s would be pretty common. That's uh, one of our cooler days of the forecast with more clouds around. Let's check out that long range forecast as the temperatures will be coming down in the days ahead with some pretty decent chances of rain and thunderstorms, especially at night. Some of that might linger into Friday morning. Friday still looks pretty decent temperature wise with mid 80s for highs. Uh, upper 80s on Saturday, that's come down a little bit with recent forecasts compared to what I was thinking a few days ago. Sunday, we should be back up into the 90s, mid 90s. That looks like one of our other hotter days in the forecast, a little breezy there. Chance of rain and thunderstorms late Sunday afternoon into Sunday night as a weak cold front comes through. That might cool us back a couple of degrees on Monday. Still a small lingering chance of rain and thunderstorms on Monday. It does look like temperatures just a touch cooler next week, right? We're hovering right around the 90 degree mark for most of next week, so not quite as hot there. But overall, not a ton of super hot conditions uh, showing this graphic a couple of days ago it looked like it was going to be a scorcher for a long period of time and yes there are still some hotter days there but it doesn't look like the heat will be quite as intense as previously expected and this will take us up through the middle of the month already there for middle mid mid july hard to believe so uh so there you go there is your forecast for today i hope you all have a wonderful tuesday stay cool out there and i'll see you all again on wednesday morning take care and god bless bye